live. <laughs> Hi Lex. It's just you and me, I think. Just a small haul with different hair. Finally, I'm back to being myself. Couldn't take the grey hair any longer. Just no, just too soon. Ugh. So yeah, here I am with, <laughs> with blue black hair. <laughs> has a bit of blue in it. It's very hard to tell in this light. But, oh, I feel better for it, I have to say. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Got some bits. Oh, gosh, right. Everyone's rushed in the door. Hello. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, looking the way up. Yeah, feeling myself again. Grey, grey just wasn't me. I wasn't white enough. I, it's got to be dramatic. It's either got to be white or black. Nothing in between. Hello, Terry. Hi, Chris. Oh, you are too kind, sir. <laughs> Maggie on a mission. That is a great name. Thank you. I feel a lot better. I like it like this. The thing was on 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 the tubes. It looked really kind of like white because the top bit was. But I yeah, I just got fed up with it. <laughs> so why not? I thought let's go mad for a few years and do something wild. <laughs> so here I am wearing wild hair. It's more me. <laughs> the funny thing is, it makes me look very much like my, my twin. <laughs> my twin, Becky. <laughs> Apparently, I'm her evil twin. <laughs> but uh, thanks very much. You're very kind. I'm, I've sorted my mop out, <laughs> as somebody once said in a comment. I did. So here we are, back to me. It's going to mean a lot of maintenance. It's going to mean root touch-ups and God knows what else. But, you know, it's worth it to feel good, isn't it? I like to experiment. Hello, Julie. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Annie B. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Still long. Didn't get it cut. I just did it myself. I could be, as we were talking about this morning, probably with a very pointy umbrella, <laughs> with a poison tip. <laughs> that would be me, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, yeah, so I've been out and about today. I took a load of stuff up to the garage. Uh, which needs to be filed and put away. It's all labelled, ready to go. Um, and I thought, you know what, I feel like mooching around the shops. So I mooched around the shops nearby. And then I had a mooch around my local shops and came back to some odds and ends. Nothing amazing, 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 but a bit of jewellery, just to please Lex. And, um, and some clothes. So a few things, a sample of what can be picked up. I'm very lucky here, you know. I've got a lot of charity shops and most of them are very spendy, but occasionally they come up with good things. Right, what has I got here? Well, this is quite fugly in its own way. <laughs> I'm not actually a twin. It's a bit of a joke. Uh, my friend Becky and I, we're kind of twins from another mother. <laughs> we're, we're very similar energy-wise. And now that I've gone back to being dark-haired, we actually look similar-ish. <laughs> similar-ish. This is... Yeah, I mean, look at that for a collar. It's, yeah, it's mad. Now, I saw this and thought, oh, beige, not one of my colours. But it is actually made, it's quite high quality. The brand, which I hadn't seen before, but seems to do quite well when I looked her up, uh, is, if I can find the label. Oh, it's all professional here. We've got it all going on. There was a label. I'm not imagining things. I saw a flipping label. Yes, here we go. I will try and show. It's Alpaca Camargo. So this is made in Peru, which is always a good thing when it comes to alpaca, clearly, because that's where they come from. Hello, Alice Harris. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Claire. Goodness. <laughs> Did I find the missing bits? <laughs> Oh, what missing bits? Oh dear, have I missed something? <laughs> the missing bits. I managed to lose an earring while I did it. I, When I dyed my hair, I had my lovely witchy earrings in, my collar present, and then afterwards I realised I had one in. I thought I'd take, I should have taken them out. I should have done, but... <gasps> so I'm really hoping that turns up somewhere because I've got one witchy earring. <laughs> Not fair. Not fair. I love those earrings as well. So this is completely fugly. But like I say, it's alpaca, which has a following. 
people like to wear it. Personally, it gives me an itchy nose. <laughs> like a wall. But there we go. So I paid, I did pay £3 for that. I've noticed lots of the charity shops that were selling £2 things. Oh, no, I haven't. But I did, I did. What I often will do in this situation is basically complete and taken today off looking and I will look tomorrow um, in the hope that inspiration comes or they turn up. I did a very thorough search um, the other day and, and it didn't turn up so clearly. Um, it didn't want to be found. Um, there's a possibility eBay, eBay may have resold things I've already sold because that happens. But two seems a bit unlikely. So I will tackle it again tomorrow luckily i have quite reasonably long um dispatch times on my stuff so that kind of helps it does give me a bit of a leeway when you've got well over two thousand items listed as i have um this sort of thing is going to happen it's a fact of life so they'll turn up if i still have them right this was strange i saw the front of it and didn't think anything of it. i thought that's a bit dull but it had all this extra stuff kind of draped now, what the hell's going on here? I've worked it out. It's basically a long sleeve kind of t-shirt with a, oh God, looks like a rag, with a kind of a big drapey scarf attached. Um, But what's nice about it and what I think will sell it is that on the back there's like these very much charcoal drawing angel wings and because a lot of people like that sort of thing. And there's also a kind of a winged thing on both sleeves, I think, or well, certainly on that sleeve. Maybe not on the other one. And on the other sleeve, there is also a winged thing. So there are wings involved. This is a brand that I had never come across. Isabel de Pedro, but it does have good value. And the reason I picked it up is it felt nice. It needs a little um, going over with the, with the defuzzer. Um, but it does have 10% cashmere in it which is why it felt so nice oh you've, you've had that a couple of times with them yeah i think with jewelry as well because things are quite however much you try and describe something as different there are there are a lot of things that are a bit the same does the new color have a name well because i've got quite long hair i had to get two bottles yes two bottles of the stuff and i basically used hard to say my teeth in schwartz -Kopf. Uh, live or live depending on how you say it um, and I used one called blue black and one called black and I mix them I half and half them and because they come in these nice bottles so you just um, I wanted it to take properly I didn't want I obviously won't need two bottles all the time but I wanted it to take properly and I I wanted a hint of blue black but I didn't want it to be too too blue <laughs> And the, I mean, it doesn't look natural. It's not meant to look natural. I mean, what natural hair colour did I have? A very nearly, a very nearly black brown hair. But I just thought this is more fun. It's more dramatic, and I rather liked it. So that should do all right. That's two things there. Raven's wing. I know that's actually what. I mean, Raven's one of my and crow very much my my things. So I'm very um. <laughs> very into it yours all natural that that blue yeah that's natural that blue <laughs> isn't it a bit like a flamingo that that gets its coloring from the food it eats which must mean you've been eating lots of blue m&ms <laughs> i don't know i picked this up uh i paid four pound for that other thing by the way i was a bit oh about paying four pound for it because i don't pay four pound for anything unless i think it's going to make me loads but you know I took a punch this is again fairly dull it's viola but i picked it up because it's an open cardigan and i rather like the autumn the colors are a bit more autumn than they're looking there um uh, yeah it's quite a dark green it's coming up a bit lighter but it was quite a decent design and i thought that's quite autumn -y. has a wall content and it's viola which you know isn't a brand i'm a fan of particularly but it has a following and it's quite decent quality so if i can actually find the label somewhere in here it will tell me this goes nylon cotton lamb's wool angora and cashmere so there's a little angora and a little cashmere which gives it that feel and then 
oh, this is this is just crazy. I saw this. It's so ugly. It's a pearl snap, and I thought it was vintage, and it may well be vintage, because my God, would anyone wear this these days? Not only is it beige, it has gold and silver metallic stripes. Woohoo! It also has not quite a dagger collar, but a very um accentuated collar. And this brand seems to be very vintage. It's still going by the look of things. Eli Cattleman. Um, God knows, but they do sell. And I, I didn't pay too much for it. I don't think. Where's the label gone? It's gone. I think I paid two pounds for that. But like I say, that should be an easy 20 odd, which I don't mind. It is grim, isn't it? It's like, oh, 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 bruise. <laughs> Purple and green dye. Oh, I suppose, yes, that could be bruise. <laughs> and green is a colour that I like to wear as a statement colour. But, yeah, in, in hair, it depends on the colour of your hair previously as to how it takes, I think. But um, the, the Schwarzkopf ones are also quite well known for, for going well on dark hair. Because no one wants to have to bleach their hair. but well, ideally not have to bleach their hair to put colour on it. Because that, as any of you all know... Doesn't do your hair any good. Right, so that's some clothes. All from one charity shop. And there were two other things I got from that charity shop. One was, this needs a bit of TLC. This is a, a necklace I picked up. It was a pound fifty, But it is actually tiger's eye. Now, I honestly think that these tassels and things are, are unnecessary. I don't know, what is that? You know, just unnecessary things. So I'm going to take them off because I think it'll look a lot better just simply without them. Because they look just wrong and messy. And I mean, they, they don't look sort of bohemian or interesting. They look like someone was having a play. So it's not silver or anything, but there's some quite nice, quite nice tiger's eye pieces in there. I like, I can't help it. I like natural stones. And then uh, finding the day from this shop for a whole English pound was a bangle, which I've given it a bit of a polish now because it it, turned, it is silver. There's no there's no two ways about it. It's got the feels. Smells like silver, which means it doesn't smell particularly. And um, yeah, I will test it, but I may just end up keeping it because it just about fits on my hand, my left hand. <laughs> so there's some silver. <laughs> Label's always on the left. <laughs> I suppose they are, but I'm one of these people that doesn't always know my left and my right. I, I, I know it's a long story. So the rest of today's haul is in here. Wow. What did I spend? I spent, oof, gosh, right, I spent that, that, and that, okay, right, in one shot, because I don't go in one, all in one shot, I had to go around, I picked this up, and it was only 90p, and it may very well be made in China, but I liked it, and I figured someone else would too, and I didn't mind at that price, it's hard to really show, it's a perfume bottle, but look at that effect. Samoso, I think it is. Oh, that's that's the effect. And it cost me a whole 90p, so didn't mind it. It is actually a perfume bottle. Um, though if you put perfume in these things, surely it evaporates. Mind you, it's quite a tight fit, this. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't. Hello, Becky. That's my evil twin. Oh, I'm the evil twin, aren't I? Um, <laughs> oops. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. And I'm just. Anyway, it comes with a, a nice glass dropper. So I just love that. I love the colours in it. Now, clearly, because it has a barcode on the bottom, it's nothing old. But, you know, it has a certain charm. And I was quite happy to, to get that because I thought it was just really well sweet. Um, 
it is what it is. It has a tiny, tiny little flea bite just on the edge there, but it'll look very pretty on the dressing table. <laughs> um, right, what else did I get here? I think they were trying to, they had a lot of jewellery they were trying to get rid of, which they priced cheaply, but it really wasn't anything I cared for particularly. So if I can get this off, I paid a pound fifty for this one. This is an ahusive wooden chunky monkey because people do like ahusive wooden chunky monkey art teacher kind of badness. And it has a nice barrel clasp. So I think that's vintage. But it is huge. I mean, God, it does someone's eye out with that. <laughs> or Keeley. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because everyone thinks it's all Achille and it really isn't. It was, um, it isn't all Achille, but it has an, a vibe of all Achille about it. This, this thing, it actually hides a table that me and my husband built, comes down that has a, has a railway track on it. Trains, model trains, but it doesn't really do model trains anymore, so it just sits there. And also, it'd be awfully difficult to put it down with a room full of crap <laughs> so yeah that was a bit of a mahusive chunky monkey and that was pound 50 and then this one i paid 184 i don't think this is particularly old but i really liked a the color because green does have a massive following and it's very boho styly these are all glass beads um just quite well put together really nice little um, work on that big bead there oh, I think I was just having a moment of you know what that's really rather fabulous so it needs a clean though you know how things feel a bit less than pleasant in the hand that's all I can say so there we go that's £4.20 spent at that charity shop I do like a good mooch I spent a whole pound in this one <laughs> all English pounds. Sometimes I get lucky in there, sometimes not, but basically I bought a pair of Jasper Conman jeans. They're basically cargo pants because word on the street is that cargo pants are having a bit of a moment. So I just picked these up for a quick and thought I'll stick them on and try. They were size 16. Um, they're quite wide leg and I thought, you know what, We'll give it a punt, see, see if that is a thing. And if it's not, what the heck? It's certainly not me. I look a pony in the cargo pants. Right, I spent uh, £4.50 in this next shop on two items. This one comes with a bonus here, and I don't think that's mine. Ah! Uh. <laughs> but how could you not? You get more fatty bonus here. Please, no. Ah. There we are. AB, dark AB stones. It's, you know, it's a handmade one. But I just thought, oh, it's so Cleopatra. I quite like that. It has a certain appeal. And I thought, well, you know, uh, I paid £2 for it. But, you know, it's it's got a lovely look. And I do like those dark stones. And little seed beads. It's all glass. Just fabulous. What do they call it? It's like petrol, isn't it? You know, when you see a pool of petrol and it has all the colours in it. Love that. Mm. Yeah, I found what you know, the kind of old school jeans that I pick up every now and again, they go quite well. Now, I don't know if this is silver or not because I haven't tested. I paid £2.50 for it on the off chance. Felt like taking a punt. It feels quite weighty. It's got inlaid mother of pearl. Very hard to smell things in the shop though, isn't it? I don't honestly know. I've got a little pile of things that I need to test. <sighs> it certainly polishes up quite nicely. I'll just polish that edge there. Oh, so bright. So there's, there's a good chance that that could be. If not, it's plate. Then so be it. But I won't lose my money. Um, just needs to clean. Just it really needs needs to go over with the wet wipe. To be fair, I mean it's a great big shop and they charge lots of money for things, but they don't seem to give things a wipe over. Hello, Nora. Did you? How are you? I haven't seen haven't seen one of you in ages. Hope you're well. 
Nice to see you. Yes, those those lovely beads. I don't know that I would put them on, but they, 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 they're getting a bath. Those are getting a bath. But they're just beautiful, aren't they? Just so sparkly. <laughs> Love the sparkles. So that's polishing up nicely. That's promising. I can't see a hallmark anywhere, and that's where it's not so promising. But we'll test. It might not be. No, it might not be. But even if it isn't, I need to have a small neck. That would be a really small neck. I've not got the world's biggest neck. And I'm struggling there. Maybe it's a kid's one. <laughs> But if it is a mistake, then, you know, it's still a pretty mistake and it will still sell because of the style. But, you know, I like to take a bit of a gamble every now and again. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? I'm not one for scratch cards or anything like that. I don't take that sort of a gamble because I just, I'm, not, I'm not particularly lucky that way. My favourite little shop for things... <laughs> Tantalising beads. I could weigh them about willy nilly. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have a line, isn't it? Right, this was all from one shop. One of my favourite places. And I like picking things up because, well, I'm a magpie, really. Oh, I've got, they're very tangulated, though. They've been making far too intimate a contact in the bag. Right. Did this have a name on it? It didn't, but this is classic, that style, isn't it? Gold tone with the black enamel, nice flat blade chain, beautiful condition. Nowhere at all. Possibly gold plated, but it doesn't say. Or at least I haven't looked closely enough. But that's what the cool words for. The disco. Studio 54. <laughs> Am I right, Lex? <laughs> um... These I picked, this I picked up because I just thought it was fabulous. And possibly a bit rude. <laughs> you are feeling sleepy. No. Um, amazing. Completely 3D enamel. You've got a little apple there. And a strawberry, which bizarrely is bigger than the apple. Because if you had a strawberry that was bigger than an apple, that would be very odd. <laughs> Disco is a great keyword, isn't it? Now it's on a bolo, so it's adjustable. It's gold tone and it it's just immaculate. I just think that is so much fun. I love things like that. Oh, Sheila, best friend. Thank you. <laughs> That's very kind. I, do, I feel about 10 years younger, to be honest. I feel more myself. I love those. I just love that work. And it's surprisingly well, I mean, it's really well done. It's lovely. There's little black seeds in there, all enamelled. I, I mean, I haven't been over these with an absolute fine tooth comb, but I'm really surprised not to see a brand of some sort on that. Because it really feels nice. But there you go, unbranded but stylish. <laughs> Would she like those? They're lovely. The thing is, I think where it, how you went, they, they sort of start to head towards the valley. <laughs> um, but they are absolutely stunning. I've got so many things to list, you would not believe it. And this is a bit random. I don't normally pick up things on a wire. It does a bit, doesn't it? I couldn't see any. Maybe I need to go over it more carefully, but it's, it's probably in the style of Butler Wilson. I picked this up. Now, this isn't my kind of flavour, but it intrigued me because these are stones. These are glass beads, and they're all on this wire. And I'm trying to not discount modern jewellery if it feels like it's really good quality. Because I am drawn towards um, vintage. Oh, I wonder how you get in there. I thought that was a barrel clasp, but maybe it's not. Well, that's going to be intriguing. <laughs> it's obviously got some very clever mechanism for getting in. It's not a battle clasp at all. But it, this felt like nice quality. 
even though it's not my style. Uh, agate. Agate. It's always agate, isn't it? But there we go. So I thought that was worth a punt. I think all of these were a pound each. I didn't say they like a pound each. You can't go wrong with that. And the, and the final piece, which I think is a mixture of glass and acrylic. I'm going to have to look at it more closely. They might be mother of pearl. Very simple and very plain. Helped by it, it saying something on the back, which I think was G silver. G silver. Does that mean gold plated silver? Because if so, that's rather nice quality clasp to have, and probably means it's a reasonable quality piece of jewellery. So for a pound each, I was very happy with those. And that is that is the haul. That it's not a great deal that I got today. Um, I didn't spend a massive amount of money, but I did have German silver. Ah, oh, right, because it is it is gold toned. That's the word I'm looking for. I mean, it is a gold colour, so maybe they have. Hmm. Maybe have gold plated it as well. Definitely. Yeah. So thanks for that. Yeah. So that's kind of what I got. <laughs> That's the haul for today, and all of the haul. Um, I'm not on a buying ban. I know better than to do that because, <laughs> as we all know, a buying ban usually results in more buying. I've got, um, on Saturday, I'm going to a boot fair, taking my, my lovely friend Anne with me. Um, so she's going to sell some more stuff. Gangster silver, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, and then Sunday, I'm, I'm doing... So it's a very really large bird there. I don't know what that is. Um, Sunday I'm actually going to a jumble trail. Hopefully, if I can find my way around it, uh, navigating is going to be fun. Well, thank you, Anne. Hello. Hello, Peter. How are you? I hope you're well. <laughs> it is me, just differently plumaged. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've kind of got a busy weekend coming up. Monday I plan to do absolutely sweet sod all and nothing. But I suspect I'll end up sitting listing whatever it is I bought on the weekend. Um, yes, you can email me. Um, you can either uh, send me a direct message on Facebook or you can email me. Uh, it's I've still got my old email, which is Heather the Hypno, because I used to be a hypnotherapist. Um, I'll put it in here. I can post a comment, can't I? There we go. I get a lot of emails in here. In this on this one there we go I'll pop that in there there you go so that is my actual email if you want to get in touch no that's no problem because i have got an awful lot of jewelry coming up <laughs> unless there's anything particular you're looking for or interested in um then by all means yeah let me know <laughs> and i'll keep an eye out so there we go <laughs> it's all good it's been a fun day just nice mooching about and not working too hard. And then I've got to find those damn things tomorrow. So universe better give them back because I should get cross. And we wouldn't want that now. My eBay, uh, my eBay shop is, hang on, let me put this on. Is it that one? Yeah, it's the That's my eBay. <laughs> I, there are meant to be ways of doing it on the, but I, me, technology. So yeah. Um, I, I would have been the treasure pirate, but someone else clearly had taken it, which I thought was very rude. Um, so I had to be the treasure pirate 101. <laughs> so yes, you're welcome to have a have a, a browse. I'm quite good at listing my clothes stuff because that's kind of my comfort zone. That's what I'm used to doing. And it's what I find easy. Jewellery, on the other hand, I, I've got a bit of a backlog. <clears throat> <laughs> we will find them. And we will destroy them. <laughs> oh right. Uh, was it was it you searching for the treasure pirate one oh one? Or um or treasure I suppose you might be looking for treasure pirate. Yeah. Um I'm definitely there. Uh, <laughs> and you'll know it's me because I've got about over twenty two hundred listings. So you'll know it's me. <laughs> um but yeah, um uh, if you can't find me oh yeah, you did oh how peculiar. Let me let me go 
and see if there's something I've forgotten to say. What's my what's my name? Because I changed it. Yeah, the Treasure Pirate 101. All one word all together. So that would be odd. Oh, mind you, yesterday I thought Eva had switched me off because I had one lousy sale the whole day. Which, you know, that's all a bit wrong, really, isn't it? One, one twenty pound sale. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping think they'll switch me back on. So you should be able to find me. I'm a bit confused. Don't really understand. I'm hard to find from Australia. Oh, oh man, I don't mean to be hard to find. I, I hope I, I hope it, it does turn up. Um, I but I do GSP, so I should be I should be visible. Oh really? Will it be? Yeah, if yeah, if it's Heather Wood rather than Woods, but that might work. Yeah, possibly. Search for sellers. Yes, you can. Um, if you're going to advanced search, and then quite near the bottom, it has look for items from this seller, and you can put in the Treasure Pirate 101, and it should, if it's playing the game, come up with me. Yeah, it's Wood. It's just just the one Wood. <laughs> there's lots of people with the surname wood and there are many with woods as well so uh, yeah i'm just the one though so yeah give it a try or and, and if you want to try and direct message me on facebook which i am heatherwood obviously uh then then please do i'm a bit crap at all of this so <laughs> um i can only apologize but i'm definitely on ebay <laughs> well best of luck elaine best of luck i'm not quite sure what else to suggest uh, maybe I have to find out how to put links to things in these because I only ever do lives. Apparently, you can pre-record and put onto StreamYard now, but it's a paid-for thing, and I haven't actually explored it and thought, do I do I really need to do that? <laughs> maybe not. Anyway, so thank you everyone for joining me. Have a really good rest of Thursday and Friday and bank holiday weekend, and let's hope the sun shines because it probably is for you. But down here in Kent, it's it's a bit murky right now. I shall have to blow some blow some space into the blue sky. <laughs> yeah, I I will I will see what I can do if I can sort of retro add it in. Oh, bless you! You see, Lex knows stuff. Actually, she knows a lot more than me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Lex. It's much appreciated. Right, I'm going to see if I can copy that and maybe I can put it in. Oh no, I can't do that. Anyway, have a good one. And I'll probably be back with another haul next week. Oh, Daisy B, thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm really enjoying having hair. I went and bought some new eyeliner as well. You've got to be dramatic if you're going to have hair like this. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> now, I, no, I'm not leaving the studio. I'm entering the broadcast. <laughs>